guys, today we're going to be doing our weekly Bible study, and we're using these two books. You do not have to have both of the books. You really don't even have to have one of the books. It's completely up to you if you get them or not. Each week, I do put the scriptures we're supposed to be reading in the description box below. Um, so, you have the scriptures you're supposed to be reading for the week. And, like I said, you don't have to have the books. It's up to you if you get them. And we are already, which we were supposed to be further along, but, you know, life. We're in week 23. No, we're in week 22 this week. I've already got my place marked for next time. But I always put the scriptures down below. So it's like, you've got it. The only thing you really need is one of these. And you don't have to have this exact one. You don't even have to have a paper one if you cannot find a paper one or if you can't afford a paper one or whatever like that. You can use, I mean, if you can ha have, you know, YouTube access, you can Google a Bible. Not only that, a lot of times at thrift stores, they'll have a free section for Bibles. It'll be just Bibles. So, you can do that if you need to. And there's lots of free apps for Bibles online. So, uh, let's get started with this. This week is Be Still. And I don't think this is going to be a very long study. I don't know. But then again, sometimes I don't think I'm going to talk a lot. And I talk a lot. <laughs> so... We're going to get started in talking about Psalm 46. It's a song for the descendants of Korah. It was a song that they sang as they encouraged each other to continue to trust God, even in the midst of rough times. This psalm is meant to encourage us to hope and trust in all-powerful God and to remind us of our, who our God is. In Psalm 46, 1 through 9, Good News Translation, the psalmist says, God is our shelter and our strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not be afraid, even if the earth is shaken and the mountains fall into the ocean depths. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come and see what the Lord has done. See what amazing things he has done on earth. He stops wars all over the world. He breaks bows, destroys spears, and sets shields on fire. So, um, it says, in other words, the psalmist is saying, don't you know who our God is? Don't you know who our God is? Don't you know what he does? That's what the psalmist is saying. He is a God who is able to do all things, and he controls everything. And so, because God is, has everything under control, the psalmist says, be still and no, that's in verse 10. So, um, I'm not really going to read any more of this because I don't really want to. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with it. I just don't really feel like I need to because I have my own experiences to draw from. And I would like to do that instead of reading that. Um, this one is talking about the same thing pretty much. So, I'm not going to read it either. Um... But I would, would like to read a little bit after I'm done because this is like a little bit of thing that you can do, you know, for the week. So, I know in different times in my life, there's this song called Stand Still by the Isaacs. And sometimes I have to actually, actually, let me say this. My sister Flora and I used to sing it in church Years ago, we went to the same church, and we would sing this song together. And sometimes I have to intentionally play this song in my head, or actually play this song. You can find it on YouTube. It's called Stand Still. It's by the Isaacs. But sometimes I have to remind myself to stand still. Let God move. That's what it says. Stand still. Let God move. Let me actually look up the words so I can tell you some of the words because I don't want to get it wrong. Because sometimes, you know, we um, make up our own words. <laughs> Not really, but um, let's see. It says um, in the beginning of it, it says, The Father has a plan, though it's hard to see it now. You feel you're walking all alone. But he is there, no doubt. When the storm around you rages and you're tossed to and fro, when you're faced with life's decisions, not sure which way to go, and then, well, would you work? 
there we go. And then it goes on to the chorus, stand still and let God move. Standing still is hard to do. When you feel you have reached the end, he'll make a way for you. Stand still and let God move. And it goes on. It's a beautiful song to me. I mean, if you like more like the southern gospel or the more country type, it's such a good song. Um, but the words are really good. They're like, they mean so much. And sometimes I just have to let that song play in my head. Stand still. Let God move. Don't get in his way. Don't try to take over and do it yourself. Because even though he may have something that we are supposed to be doing in the process, we're not supposed to be taking over and doing it for ourselves. We need to be still. We need to let God do it. We need to let him show us the direction that we need to move in. So we have to sometimes be still and let him do it. Let him tell us what to do. Let him speak through his word or speak through someone else. Or just listen for the still small voice of the Holy Spirit because God will speak to us even though it may not be like out loud verbally like I'm talking to you right now he will drop something in your spirit and I know that the, some of these things I'm saying they're like you know those things that you hear a lot of times in the church but it's actually true God will help you he will drop stuff into your mind he will like he'll download it in he'll upload it or whatever the word is he'll upload it and you will understand this is where I'm supposed to go next this is what I'm supposed to do but even in the hardest times there have been so many times when I just didn't feel like I could move like I could I didn't feel like I was going to get through the next day the next week I didn't know how I was going to function. I didn't see a way out. I didn't see a path. And I had to stand still. I had to be still. Because there was no humanly possible way that I could do it. When my daughter left, I thought I was going to die. Like literally, I thought my whole world had crumbled apart. And I had to be still. That's one reason why I did not record anything that week. I just kind of dug in God's word and I, I just prayed and I asked God to show me the way. And no, it did not get fixed in a week. Yes, I still, after over a year, I have days where I am still stuck in that place of confusion and pain and hurt. But I just, I get still and I listen to God and he shows me what to do most of the time when I'm praying that's when he will make me see like when I when I'm asking God what do I do what do I do where do I need to go is there anything I can do asking God to show me because I know I can't fix me I know Jeff can't fix me Noah can't fix me so nobody Selena can't do it nobody can fix the situation when there's pain involved when there's struggle involved a lot of times nobody can fix it unless God directs them to fix it so through my times of standing still of being still and waiting for God's message to me I grow he strengthens my heart he strengthens my mind and I grow and he takes me through it. He guides me through whatever it is. The only way that you can do that, though, is you've got to stay in the Word. You've got to see Him. You've got to see the little bitty things and be grateful for those things. There was something that happened today. And you'll see on tomorrow's video that I'm recording this the same day I recorded tomorrow's video. Because... I um went to, Noah and I went to eat with um family and friends yesterday or one friend because we were supposed to go today but anyway it doesn't matter um so I'm recording two videos in one day 
that's all there is to it. Well, between the time that I was going to re start recording this one and the time that I did the other one, I wanted to get the dogs inside the house because the neighbors were over next door trying to, some repairmen were looking around. So the dogs were barking, but Maggie disappeared. She wasn't there. She wasn't anywhere. So whenever I went outside, I threw my shoes on, I walked outside, and I thought, she's on the other side of the fence. And I started panicking because she's never, ever been on the other side of the fence. And I had called her and called her, and Maggie is old and she's going deaf. And either she was so upset herself that she could not hear me, she couldn't figure out what to do or what, but I could not get her to come back over where she had went through. Now, we've been living here for over 11 years, and none of our dogs have ever done that before. Never. None of our dogs have ever dug under the fence. None of our dogs have ever gotten loose. Nothing like that. Because we want our babies to be safe. Well, she did. And she was stuck, and I couldn't get her, and I was, my brain was crazy. My face is still red. I was just panicking. And then I stopped, and I said, call Jeff and Noah back home because they had left to go hunting because Jeff took half a day off. He took it off like at the first of the year so they could go do this and um, have some, you know, bonding time. Well, I didn't want to call them back, but you know, I thought that's the only choice I have. And I was asking God what to do and I'm like, he just told me. He just told me, call your husband. He's home, and he's not normally home right now. Jeff's not normally off work right now. At this point in time, I cannot normally call my husband. Now, Noah would have been here, but I could not normally call him. But God fixed it, and I know people think, oh, well, it's just, that's crazy. That's just a little dog. That's a little dog that we've had since she was teeny tiny, and she's our Maggie Mae, and we love her, and we don't want anything to happen to her. So... I called them, they got back home, they put a ladder over the fence, Noah climbed over, he grabbed her up, she ran straight to the water after she got back, we checked her out, she's okay, she's inside, and they fixed the spots where she got out. But, I had to be still for a minute for my brain to, to be able to function, for me to listen, and I had to pray, what do I do? I can't get her, what do I do? And he told me. Now, that was a very short amount of stress, but it was still stressful. It was scary to me because she's so little and she's deaf. She's almost completely deaf. She couldn't hear me. She couldn't hear to come back home. So, sometimes the situation might be a short one. Sometimes it might be a long one. I've given you two scenarios of the long and the short. The Selena situation still happening. She hasn't come home yet. She hasn't found her way back. I'm still praying for God to, to for her, her to reach out to God. Because that's what it's going to take. She has to come back to him before she can come back to me fully. And I know that. Because she's lost. She belongs to him and I have to let that be. So, I want to go ahead and read this. I have to be still, you know. It says, This week, intentionally be still before speaking or acting. Write down what happened in and after the moment. See what you can learn. See what you can hear, hear from God. Be still. So, that's all I have for today, other than telling you what we're supposed to do for next week. We're reading 1 Chronicles 1 through 22. 1 Chronicles 1 through 22. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I know it was a little bit shorter, but that's all right too. I'm sure that y'all are okay with that. I hope that you understood what I had to say today. I hope that God speaks to you through me in some way. I am just a simple person. I am not a speaker for God other than I'm a child of God. And I am one of his disciples. And I do love him. And I want... To reach others for him and if I can 
encourage you in any way, that's my job. That's what I want to do. So, thank you for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. If you have a prayer request, leave it down below. Or any video that I have. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and do that. Share it with a friend. Make sure if you do subscribe to hit the bell so you be notified when I upload. But most importantly, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels. And be sweet.